Now, there's been a huge jump in the number of people getting tested before they travel or go to a big event even. And while that's a good step, it's not a license to let your guard down. Local 12's Tessa DeTiro is live tonight in Oakley with that part of the story. Tessa, good evening. Good evening, Kyle. So the health collaborative testing site here at Crossroads Oakley was packed today. Now there's a variety of reasons that people could be getting a test, but health experts say if you're planning to take a trip or maybe head out to a big event and you get a negative result from the test, it's not necessarily a guarantee that you won't be exposed to the virus soon after. Sarah Bolton and her husband Rafe took these pictures on their trip to Red River Gorge with friends. Before they set out for the wilderness, they wanted to know their COVID status. About two or three days before, we each got tested just to be extra safe. Um, and we each sort of proudly brought our negative test results with us. Um, and, you know, it's not perfect, um, but it made us feel like it was mitigating the risk enough that we felt safe doing it. Health experts say pre-event testing is good. But a negative result is not a free pass to be lax. The false sense of security that a one-time test or even to some extent serial testing um, doesn't in any way preclude universal source control, which is wearing the mask. Fagan suggests a pre-event test before this year's holiday family gatherings. This group of freshmen at UC plans to get tested at the end of the semester. My grandma, I am very close to her and I would not want to give her corona. I think that definitely make me feel relieved, but at the same time, I still like as a college student, I don't go out and I would keep it that way just because I don't want to get a positive test. Organizations across Hamilton County, like the Health Collaborative, are working to make sure getting tested doesn't just happen before a big event, that it's part of a new routine testing now because it's more available is now's the time to really check your status and it's quick. I've done it twice in the last couple of weeks. Well, last month or so I've done it twice and all said and done took me less than 10 minutes. There is free testing here at Crossroads Oakley every Wednesday. That is free for Hamilton County residents and people who work in Hamilton County. Live in Oakley, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. Back to you in the studio. Tessa, good information there. Thank you. And the Health Collaborative says that most results are ready within about 48 hours. There's a link to find testing, testing sites that are open seven days a week for you at local12.com.